Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rakhakadash, the bonds unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation, and hopefully they got them pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the whole flag that believe with the listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai. All right. And what I want to get into this morning, you know, through the spirit, the power, and the inspiration of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai, is dealing with how, you know, he had gave his secrets, you know, to his shepherds. Okay. And his shepherds, you know, in this time, all right, represents the righteous leadership that the Lord has set up for Israel. All right. The true shepherds. Okay, because Yahweh Bashima Oshai has revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, you know, which are like unto shepherds. You know, a shepherd is a guide. Okay, now what would the shepherd use? A rod and a staff, you know, for correction and for guidance for the flock. You know, and we use the Bible as our rod and staff for guidance and correction for the flock in sincerity. You know, we come in the stead of the good shepherd, just as Yahweh Oshai, okay, was, you know, the good shepherd. You know, over us all, okay? And as he has gone, he has left, okay, um, particular men, all right? He has put the spirit on particular men to be overseers of the flock, you know, and to tend to his sheep in truth and sincerity. And those men have the secrets, okay, and the understanding of the doctrine that's leading, okay, the, the, the sheep of Yahweh Shai to salvation, Okay, now I want to get this account. This is the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 6. And it says, and so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And then she is married, all right, and she's going to be delivered of Yahweh Shai. All right, she's getting ready to deliver Yahweh Shai. And it says, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. <laughs> okay, and it's spirit, spiritual, you know, the shepherds watching over at night, you know, in darkness, <laughs> you see. And it says, And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. And this is all people speaking of Israel, beginning with the elect. Okay. And it says, for unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is of Masiah, the Lord. Okay. So the angels came to the shepherds, okay, in the night and revealed unto them, all right, the birth of Yahweh Shah, the Savior, pretty much revealed unto them Yahweh Shah. Just as the prophets had, you know, the Lord has revealed Yahweh Shah to his men, which are his shepherds, okay, in this time, you know, to the prophets, man. Okay, Yahweh Shah has been revealed to us in darkness, man. Okay, because this society is, is built on darkness, man. Okay, but guess what? The, the, the Holy Spirit has kind of come to the body, okay, beginning with those pastors whom the Lord has raised up, you know, and we have those secrets, okay, we have been enlightened, you know, we have been revealed Yahweh Shai in darkness, man, okay, let's get some more precepts to prove, okay, let's get on um, St. John, okay, 15, St. John 15 and 15, it says, Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For the things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. So the, there are particular men whom Yahweh Shai is dealing with and revealing things, man. You know, it, it, these men have been revealed to Yahweh Shai. Now Yahweh Shai is revealing particular things to these men, okay? This is why you have 100% truth starting from the apostles and elders because Yahweh Shai has given his secrets to his servants, the prophets, man, to understand these things, 
okay? And it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Because those ch those shepherds in the field that night, they didn't choose their angels to come and reveal those things unto them. They didn't choose whether or not they would be able to believe it or not. It was already ordained, okay? So though the Lord chose those particular shepherds to for their angel to deliver their message to man and for them to receive that message man okay because later on in the chapter it talks about how they praise and glorify the most high man okay and it says and ordain you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name he may give it you okay so as we've been ordained with this knowledge and understanding, it's to bear fruit, you know, it's to feed the sheep of the Most High. That's the whole purpose of us receiving these secrets, man, not to glorify ourselves, not to push gimmicks, okay, not to try to just get numbers, no, but to feed the sincere sheep of Yahweh Shai, okay? The Lord has raised, raised up sincere pastors, as the scriptures say, let's get that in Jeremiah 3. All right, sincere pastors to feed his sincere sheep, okay? <laughs> and through these secrets that have been revealed, we're able to teach sound doctrine. This is Jeremiah 3 and 15, and it says, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay, this is what the sheep are being fed with, is knowledge and understanding due to the secrets that have been revealed through the Spirit. Okay? Just as those shepherds got the, got the message from on high, we this message that we have, this gospel that we have is from on high, okay? And we're going to prove it. Now, when you get Jeremiah 3 and 15, it says, and I will give you shepherds. All right, this is an NLT, Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I'll give you shepherds after my own heart who will guide you with knowledge and understanding, okay? <laughs> so the Lord has raised up shepherds all right, good shepherds in his stead, you know, as Yahweh Shai is back in the spiritual realm, who was that example, okay, of the good shepherd, man, okay, laid his life down for his sheep, this is First Peter 5 and um, 2, it said, feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, okay, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, Okay, and let's read in NLT. It says, care for the flock. This is 1 Peter 5 and 2 in the NLT. It says, care for the flock that the Most High has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly, not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve the Most High. And those are the sincere, sincere shepherds that the Lord has set up, man. <laughs> okay, verse uh, 3. It said, neither is being lords over the most highest heritage, but being examples to the flock. All right. And let's read verse three in the NLT. First Peter five and three in the NLT. Don't lord. All right. Don't lord it over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. OK, so the shepherds that have been given the secrets. All right. Are supposed to be an examples of what they're teaching, man. Okay, we're supposed to be examples of everything that we're teaching. We're supposed to be the highest, all right, uh, example of the things that we teach, man. Okay? Not for filthy lucre. We're not here to make gain off the sheep. We're not here, all right, to be praised and, and worship of the sheep. No, we're here to forward praise to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And we're here to feed the sheep with knowledge and understanding, all right, that's guiding them. Okay? <laughs> let's go from there. Um, let's get X. Okay, and the Spirit has appointed, you know, particular men to be overseers over the flock. Okay, Acts 20 and 28. It says, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Spirit have made you overseers. Okay, the Holy Spirit has ordained particular men to be overseers of the congregation, okay? And that's why the Spirit is dealing with those men. Just as those angels came to those shepherds and was dealing, the Spirit comes to those men and deals, 
And those men are, are able to take that and have the oversight of the flock. Okay? We're being equipped with the knowledge, all right, and understanding to be overseers of the flock, man. Okay? And to feed the Yahweh Shai sheep with knowledge and understanding. It says, to feed the church of the Most High, which he have purchased with his own blood, man. Because everything belongs to Yahweh Shai, you know? Hey, his sacrifice you know, purchase, all right, uh, uh, Israel beginning with the elect. <laughs> you know, we was redeemed through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, man. <laughs> okay? So we're tending to another man's flock, man. Okay? Now let's go from there. And we're ending here. Let's get 2 Corinthians um, 4. All right, let me. All right, 2 Corinthians 4 and 6 says, For the Most High, who have commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts, which is our mind, to give the light or the knowledge of the glory of the Most High in the face, okay, of Yahweh Shah Hamasiah. For we have this treasure in earth and vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of the Most High and not of us, okay? So these this knowledge that we have, it was given to us from on high. It was sent down unto us, man. Okay? Secrets was revealed, you know, until the body, all right, through the Holy Spirit, man. You know? And as he gave his secrets <laughs> to these shepherds, these shepherds have been set up to lead and to guide, okay, in righteousness, man. Okay? So that was the point. I pray that you brothers and you few sisters were edified once again. We give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to our younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, hopefully, shalom.